Hi, everybody. Uh, hello. Yeah, this is uh, it's really amazing to be here today. Uh, my name is Luol Mayen. Uh, I'm actually from South Sudan. How many people from South Sudan here? I don't know. I want to see. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really excited to you know celebrate Africa and everything that comes from Africa. You know, I always believe that you know the most important thing in life is, and I always tell people that you know talent is evenly distributed, but opportunity is not. You know, where we come from, where we are, we, there's always that innovation that comes with us, no matter what happened in life. Anyway, as I said that I'm from South Sudan, I'm the founder of Junoop Game. Junoop Game is a video game company that makes video games for peace and conflict resolution. And a lot of people are going to be, hey, how can video game be used for peace and conflict resolution? And that's the reason why I'm standing here today to talk about it and talk about things that we can do as African and things that we can bring to the market. And second to that, I'm also the founder of uh, Luol Main Foundation. Uh, we focus on, you know, on uh, bringing technology, game design, and animation to kids that live in a refugee camp. So I'm really excited to really talk about my work and the, using the power of video game in order to bring the world closer together. And some of, sometimes we ask ourselves, like, how are video games so powerful? How can we use video? How many people play video games here? I know. <laughs> of games, you know, like something that it's really that we can use to be able to like bring the world together and bringing the world in, in terms of like how do we feel about certain things? And a lot of people might say, like, how did I get into video game? You know, first of all, I grew up in a refugee camp. I've lived in a refugee camp for 23 years. My family flees South Sudan because of the war. And, and that I was able to find my path and being able to like, how can I be able to like use the power of video game to be able to like bring innovation. So right now we're building a, for example, I'm from South Sudan whereby almost 73% of the population is under the age of 30. And we, we look about, when we talk about like refugees and, and, and talk about like innovation is something that we can always think about. And the reason is because we live in a new generation where we can be able to use new solutions. I remember like the first time I ever played a video game like was in a refugee camp. And the first video game I played was uh, called Grand Theft Auto. And then <laughs> it was like, it was so powerful. And, and that moment I remember that it took my mother three years looking for $300 to buy for me my first computer in a refugee camp. And I would work every three hours every day to go and charge my computer because we had nothing in the refugee camp. And every day, I'll come back, and I remember, like, I never thought, like, actually, video games are created by people. I thought they fell from heaven. Because, like, <laughs> cause the reason is because we didn't have the access to games. And one is that I'm building a video game called Salam. Salam is a game that actually put a player in the shoes of a refugee, like, fleeing the country to find a place of refuge. And that's the game that we're working on. In the game, what you do is, first of all, you take a player you take your, your character from a war-torn country to, to, to a place of peace. And what you do in the game, we have something called play to earn. So in the game, when, when your character run out, let me show you, when your character run out of, of food or like of, of water or something, you have to buy in the game. And when you buy it, you're actually buying somebody in a refugee camp food. When you buy water in the game, you're actually buying somebody in a refugee camp water. And the reason is because games are really very powerful in terms of like being able to engage. You know, I remember one day I was I was playing a video game with uh, with my friend, and when I play a video game, is that I remember like I kill his character in the game, and the way he reacted to me, he didn't say that. Why did you kill my character? He was like, Why did you kill me? And the reason is because that decision making is very important when it comes to like video game design in order to, one thing, build empathy. One, second to that is like when it comes to like how experience look like. How do you feel about some certain things that are actually happening in the real world? And we, in, a, in a video game industry, we are, we, are, we, are in a, we are in an industry whereby the players choose what they want to play. And with that, it's, it's very important when it comes to like digital storytelling when it comes to video game, because we are able to like use that medium in order to bring people together, in order for them to actually understand what is going on. And that's why games are really very powerful. When it comes to peace and conflict resolution, 
it comes in terms of like, peace is something that is built over time. And when it's built over time, is that like, how do we like the, how do we do, uh, help the young generation in terms of changing their mindset, in terms of like being able to understand how to engage, how to make decisions. And that's why video games are very powerful when it comes to like decision making, peace building. And when I say like peace building is something that is built over time, is like, for example, true peace is not like sitting down, you know, we work with government and being able to like just sign ceasefire and so on. It's, it's, it's by allowing the younger generation to understand things that are actually helping them and how to respond to conflict. And whenever they play a video game, the video game is able to challenge them to make decisions that they, they cannot even learn from school. Secondly, that is like video game, you're actually using that story in order to understand. And I always tell people that, you know, I wish we live in a world whereby we don't have to teach empathy. And empathy is built between the way people understand other people other people. For example, like, when you look at the refugee crisis, we have over like 72 million refugees around, around the world. And we make decisions that can actually affect them. Refugees become, in terms of like, for example, other people flee their country because of climate change, because of war, because of fear of something. And then, for example, when my family flees South Sudan, my mother flees South Sudan and my family, we settle in Uganda. And that during, that reason, during that time, the most important thing was the government of Uganda was able to welcome refugees in order because it's the next, it's the next country that was next to me. And, and the most important thing is like, when, we, when it comes to policy making, refugees and people that are sitting there, they don't understand what they go through. And that's why like, whenever like, people ask me like, what, what is your end goal with, with Salam? The end goal is, for example, kids right now are playing the video game, and maybe in 10 years, 20 years, they will be in a place of uh, a position of power. And when the position of power, they understand what it means to be a refugee. Whenever they're making policies, it, it, it actually understands it because it's, it's a way of education. And that's why, like, Salam is really helping a lot in terms of, like, what does it mean to be in a refugee camp? What does it mean to actually for players to understand? In the video game industry, like a lot of young people play video game every single day, every single day. And that's why it's really very important. Second to that is that like you can't be what you can see. In terms of like when it comes to um, when it comes to like um, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> when it comes to like video games are really very uh, they are really very powerful when it comes to like really understanding the journey and being able to help. What it, what it is in order for other people to be in that position. And, and, and that's why like, I feel like games are really very powerful in terms of like, bringing the world together and bringing the world closer together. So thank you so much, and I wish we get a lot more. Yeah. <laughs>